My task was to design a cover for a vinyl reissue of Simon and Garfunkel's 1964 folk revival album Wednesday morning 3am. Among the album's 12 songs, I identified many themes, but the most evocative were time, religion, decay, and miscommunication. My new album cover intends to attract younger audiences under the age of 30, who are already drawn to the antique aesthetics of vinyls, but who are not familiar with Simon and Garfunkel's earlier, less known folk gospel music. Instead of banking on the artist's fame, the new album cover focuses on the album's themes. Simon and Garfunkel's voices are accompanied by only sparse instrumentation, which provides an eerie ethereal quality to the album. This quality informed iteration one. I wanted a broody figure alone in the dead of night, surrounded by ethereal light. I researched a lot of ethereal imagery and was drawn by the real underwater photography by Brett Stanley for the album cover I Titanic Rising by Way's Blood. My final sketch for iteration one used literal visual references to the album. A girl who stands in for the audience sits before a wall bearing lyrics from the sound of silence. She reads poetry, like the singer in Bleecker Street, while a dead sparrow lies near her, a reference to sparrow. This iteration would be difficult to resolve. Creating this complex scene with real photography is outside my skills and resources, and also the visuals representing the songs of the album, while clear, are not evocative. Iteration 2 is an unsuccessful visual paradox. It's meant to show raiding the fridge in the middle of the night, a literal reference to the album's title, but with a rhetorical paradox. I wanted something totally unexpected in the fridge. Where this iteration fell short, however, was first, I couldn't think of any good paradoxical images for the fridge, and second, I struggled to get a good silhouette from the fridge light in my photography experiments. Iteration 3 was a composite image of clocks in boxes and leaned heavily on the album's themes of time and decay. This idea was very easy for me to experiment with, to the point where my iteration quickly evolved from sketches into successful compositing in Photoshop. This iteration, like my previous ones, was a very literal interpretation of the album's title and did not express the many themes on the album. I also realised that the album feels old, even for 1964 when it was first released. As such, I needed to capture this antiquated feeling and exaggerate it a bit for a modern audience. During class feedback, my tutor mentioned that Iteration 3 reminded them of Wunderkammer, a German word for an accumulation of objects. A key part of Wunderkammer is its real setups. The accumulation of objects is not a composited digital image, but an actual display. A modern example of Wunderkammer are the photographic illustrations by Walter Wick for the I Spy books. He says that the camera does very little work. It's the props, sets, and lighting that creates an immersive scene. So for my final design, I set up a Wonderkammer display to photograph. I found an odd box with compartments to arrange objects in. The objects I chose represented themes from the album. The clock faces represent time. The hands reaching from one box to the next represent miscommunication and relationships. The sparrow and the seed represent decay. The Bible and the cross necklace represent religion. The melted candles and the skulls represent decay. The guitar and the accordion player represent music. I set up a warm fill light at an angle to the album display. Shutter on my phone camera, I instead set the exposure value settings to negative 1, limiting the amount of light and creating dark shadows. I set the white balance to a warm temperature of 6200 Kelvin, which limited the colours in the photograph, creating an analogous colour palette of browns and evoked antique feelings. Here are my final designs. 